signing using HTML5. This is a class one, first class. We see what is uh, the HTML tags. What are the softwares we are using for it? How to run? How to save this HTML? It's course purely for beginners. So those who don't know even uh, computer, the school type and college type, the beginner course. This and all the tags we are covering in this particular topic in the video. Now first I will show this is Notepad. We'll use Notepad. It's a software. This software, Notepad plus plus, not Notepad. Notepad plus plus software we are using for this particular HTML. Already I opened a Notepad plus plus. I did it this slide. Again I will do it. This is a new. First I will do the new. The new thing will come. The first line, what I will type is here, you see, the clear document type, HTML. This is the first line. What is the meaning is, I am telling this document type, I will use in the HTML coding, HTML formatting. That is the meaning. Next tag is HTML. HTML, I say I am using language for this website is EN. EN means English. If I use EFR. In French, like this. I am using English. That's why I am giving up E N. Whenever you use the tag, this is opening tag. You should close for HTML or not. In between HTML tag only, you should write all the codings. So close HTML means slash HTML. Automatically it will come. You just click it. Enough. Next one is called head. Headboard head is another tag and close the head tag immediately. Close it. Then only otherwise it is difficult for closing the tag. Sometimes we forgot the closing the tag. Still now you see everything look like a black color. So it, by default it is a text format. So now I want to show, save it as a HTML format. Go so, save us. I'll do save us in class one. This one I say C1 is my HTML. It is text by default. You see, text format is coming. So, whenever I do, I will press H. You see that hypertext markup language C1 is coming. C1.html. This is my file now. You see, immediately tag colors are changing. All tag colors are blue color if it is perfect. And the attributes are red color. This is called attributes. So, next one. Inside the head, I will try title. So you see the title. My title I given. I will show the exercise page. Then you can understand. This is what my exercise. This is what not exercise. This is what I will practice to do now. So what exactly I will do is title. Here you see this is I already created page. You see. I'm saying title is Dr. Girija. This is what my title. You see this. I want title is Dr. Girija class one. This is what my title. I copy it. Then I will go and paste it here. This is what my text is. Now again as each and every thing you should say this. How to run it. Run go IE or go any uh, browser you can do. I am using IE. So if you use IE, the title you can see here. Dr. Girija class. This is what the title. Title as a with page type. This is the meaning of the question. Next one, what we give is we see metadata characteristics. Metadata characteristics is equal to I said UTF. Here you can see encoding method. What method? Encoding UTF A you can see which coding method I am using, encoding method. That is a meaning. So that I will explain you later. UTF-8 I am using here. This is what I am Metadata characteristic UTF-8. It should be available in the heading. Now we are moving to which part? Body part. I check anyway it is correct. Metadata. Yeah, meta, not metadata. Meta is. So meta. Meta characteristic. Why means the black color coming means it's wrong. That means. So now I will open, open the body and then what I will do? Close the body.
inside the body only we will write almost all the things how the head the human body head and body body inside only we are having technical head generally we have steel sheet and css style and tight in this type of things we are having we will study later one by one now we know only the title is available in the head body inside the body i will write what is my fi i am saying this is my apply heading one class one what is heading one heading one is nothing but here go and see h1 is called heading one there is contact h1 h1 close h1 immediately immediately close beta so heading one class one this is what my heading you see here what is heading one i'll put heading up to heading six i can put i'll put here same thing copy it and place it heading three we should know the difference that's why i'm showing heading three here i'll see next one is heading five now i will save it save it run it can you see heading one should be bigger and bold everything is bold but you can see the size of the heading become lesser so smaller size so this is for the heading now i want heading one so remove this no need so now see what is the next point here in the heading one this is my first exercise use italics so this is my first exercise generally this type of information i will use in the paragraph so i will use this symbol called p this is called paragraph symbol. close p so close the p this is my first exercise inside the p i will paste the p so this is my first exercise now you can go and see. again run and see every time better run and see what is the output is coming you see here this is my first exercise. i want to be emphasize or italic so what i will do is this case i will use pm pm close pm always if em is there first which is the last tag that should be closed as a first here you are closing what which is second tag pm first close em after that close what p don't do the mistake there so then i will go and i will run here you can see the em whatever i think i want save it so i will save and then i will do the reflex style this is what my second next one apply horizontal line first i want to put one line how i do it horizontal line horizontal line means here there is no opening and close this is called void hr hr means horizontal ruler this type of tag hr tag and is uh, space tag this and all no need opening and close this is called void tag void tag means single tag all other tag we need opening and close so now i will save it and run it and see line is coming so this one okay. next one next exercise type web design is interesting without space i am writing correct or not web is bold this web should be bold i am copy again i'll go here then i'll create another one after hr i'll create another paragraph all right web design is interesting correct or not i will run and show you it is without space i i wrote the one sentence so web is what i want to give space in between web design yes interesting what is the number ampersand n b s t space ampersand n b s t now we see what is coming i will save this one now i will run can you see in between two spaces the same manner i will give everywhere i will copy this one copy this space and keep apply everywhere now save it again run it can you see what is the next task for me web is bold web is bold so what i will do is web should be bold so what is a this one is nothing but tag strong you see this is strong 
this is a tag I will use in web. So I will use it in the web here. And you see, this is a song. Now I will save it. Again, I'll run. And you see, it becomes both. So this is what? This is next to one. What I am giving? Give space between design. I already given. The word interesting to be next line. It should come in the next line. How I will make the next line? Next line means we can give br. Br means break. Br means what? Break. So now I will save it. Now I will run this particular thing. You can see it will come to the next line. So this is a major one. If paragraph means what is the advantage? It automatically gives space. You see line spaces. But break never gives space. Immediately without space. Always by default before and after paragraph will do the space. So this is interesting. This is what I can do. What is the next one? Use highlighting the text in yellow plus. By default, mark is there. One thing. Mark. I will use mark. By default, it is there in the spreadsheet. sheet. We can see it later. Not now. So, mark. If I use mark. You see her mark. I want a highlight. In the yellow plus. Highlighting. So, you see here. This highlight. You can change any color. In the page sheet you can go and do. Later we study more. So now this is simply a tag. So this is what that one. And include command as successfully defined. Copy this one. I will go here. How to write command? In? Command line generally won't display. So what I do is here you see. Explain what? Slash. You see everything becomes green color. Generally command line becomes what? Green color. It won't display. So, for purpose, what exactly this coding, suppose I created for design, some uh, coding I return for only for navigation, some section I write, some photograph, uh, some image link I created, I want to understand what exactly I wrote the code, that's why I use the command line. So, this is a command. So, next one, how to write the command line? Next one, apply heading 5, goodbye. This is what my thing. goodbye. So, I will write here. Inside body, everything. See here, right heading five. So text five, heading five. Goodbye. All right. Slash text five. This is what my thing. This is what my thing. So you see goodbye. So what are the things we learned here? Here we learned what is called document type. What is the language? Head title will appear in the web page title and can show heading one, paragraph, emphasize, and what is ruler, and strong, and then what is called dia, break, mark, and then heading five. This is what our first page creation will be, class one.